Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing another fragrance review and this is a for Flower Bomb Nectar. And this is from Victor and Rolf. I hope you enjoy my review. You can hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All my social media accounts are in the description section, so do check that out. Um, and where you can get this is the best deal that I could possibly find for you guys will be in the description section as well, so do check that out. So I'm gonna give you information from Fragrantica and of course, what um, happened when I tested it. It says here, made of chorus is vanilla, amber, aromatic, smoky, warm, spicy, fruity, white flora, patchouli, sweet, soft, spicy. Flower Bomb Nectar is by Victor and Rolf, is an amber floral fragrance. And this was first released back in 2018. And top notes is gunpowder. I've never seen them before. And if I have, I don't remember. Cassis, a bergamot middle. Notes are osmanthus, orange blossom, jasmine, sumbac. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, yum, and, uh, benzoin, and patchouli. So my notes, slightly kind of dusted powder. That's where the gunpowder comes from. Um, it's uh, slightly powdery, uh, dark. It's a, uh, it's got like this, it's sweet and dark. So darks dark sweetness a hint of floral which is great because i'm not really i'm not a big fan of floral currently um it becomes um the the dark sweetness merges into floral and the child of those two is very beautiful it's a very beautiful combination it's dark, it's sexy, it's um, intriguing. Um, it's intriguing to unsuspecting people. It, it's like, it, it's one of those things that will like slowly creep out. So you just don't expect it. It's alluring and seductive. This is a very dark, uh, mysterious, sexy version of Flower Bomb. I I do have a review on Flower Bomb, so if you want to check that out. Very different, which is good because I'm not really a big fan of Flower Bomb. A lot of people really love Flower Bomb and I really wanted to love it because if a lot of people really love it, it must be really great. It just it's just not for me. Floral notes are are beautifully done. It doesn't smell mature, cloying or um, off-putting for me. It's playful and flirty. I can see this as a nighttime fragrance, like a date night, romantic night, kind of even, even clubbing. Because it's very dark, sexy, mysterious, playful, and flirty. So that's why you can make it into like a, more of a date night, romantic night, or a clubbing because of that. Um, but it's not very overpowering that it's in your face. So in less than an hour, it does lighten up from the darkness. I can now see this as a signature fragrance or a daytime fragrance. And it can be like a date, daytime to nighttime. I would suggest though that if you wanna do it as a nighttime or you wanna keep using it throughout the day and at night, is that you spritz it again because it's re it really is like the beginning part that I do believe um, is probably like the best part of it. So about two to three hours starts to smell kind of medicinal and I think that's the benzoin on there and I really, I really don't like that. Um, so it does evolve rather quickly on my skin but not on clothing or a non-skin surface or non-skin item because I, I try to do it that way, like that way. So if you want to not make it turn that quickly for only a few hours, I would suggest you also spritz, spritz this on a piece of clothing that you're wearing because then it can kind of stay very, very beautiful. After that turns about a half hour to an hour, it smells beautiful again. However, on my skin, it only really does last six to eight hours, which is very disappointing 
because the price tag for this fragrance is kind of high. I would expect something like this to last like on my skin at least minimum like 12 to 16 hours, but it just didn't happen. So I'm very, very disappointed. And because of the benzoin in there, because it smells very medicinal for me, I was really wanting to get this and it would have been my first Victor and Rolf fragrance. But due to that, it just, I just can't. It just, it, like, I literally gagged when it hit that kind of time. Granted, it didn't last very long, but it's just, I can't do it. It's just not for me. Um, and you know, I'm a sucker for Victor and Rolf. I always try their fragrance and I always have like the greatest expectations and the and the want and the need to want to want to add this to my collection and I'm always disappointed because I never want to get it for my collection. Um, I might want to get a sample or a travel size or like a one fluid like something like that. Never like a medium size or or the largest size. I never want to do that. It's more like a temporary thing. So I'm very disappointed um, for this one because the lifespan isn't very high. I would say that this would be a three out of five stars. And even though the beginning for me is the best part of it, um, I still, that's why I'm going to give it a two thumbs up. And that's why I'm getting it a three. It's majority out of five. The rest of it is just not great for me even on the clothes it's just it it really does kind of die down rather quickly than what i would would then what i would prefer so i'm very disappointed <sighs> just disappointed yet again um if you guys have suggestions on other fragrances that i haven't tried out yet or i haven't tested it out yet or i still don't have it on my list it doesn't matter because if I do have it already, I will let you know. But still add whatever fragrances you believe I will try. I mean, I will enjoy trying to test out. I love hearing from you guys all the time. So please add that. What is your signature fragrance? If you have this, this is your signature fragrance. How does this smell to you? Does it turn like for me? For me, you know, like everything that I mentioned. Is it the same? Is it different? But do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you just blah? Is it in your collection? Are you staying away from this? What are your thoughts? I would love to know. What is your signature fragrance currently? Or if you have one, what is your current fragrance right now? Because you know, sometimes um, for me before, I would have a different fragrance every single day. That's why I used to have like 50 or more bottles and those get used. Those get used. Um, now I'm more conservative in that. <laughs> in that aspect, um, my my preference, I like. I feel like I just don't want to be overwhelmed again. But if it's something that I, I feel like I can add to my collection and it's something beautiful and I can't stay away from, I will definitely add it. So feel free to always add any fragrance you guys suggest because I would always love to try them out. Thank you guys for the beautiful, wonderful words. You guys are amazing, wonderful, beautiful people. Keep on smiling and I love you guys. Thank you for the love and support and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.